Hi, welcome to Power Yoga Archer Class. Let's go ahead and get started in child's pose. So just let the hips draw back towards the heels. Allow the forehead to rest down onto the ground. Just taking some time right now to let the mind settle before we start to move the body. And before we move through a power yoga practice where we emphasize a whole multitude of backward bends. A lot of times in yoga, tension gets a bad rap. But the truth of the matter is that there's also good tension as well. And so we're going to use good tension just like a good challenge to help us open up, to awaken, to expand the chest, and to really aim true as we take our mind, our breath, our body in these movements, and move through a strong, dynamic, but sensuous flow. From here, start to create that movement of air, just beginning to glide in and out through the nose, and how your breath is the fuel that's gonna drive you through the practice. Start pulling those inhales down deep. Press those exhales out nice and long. Knowing that the way that you're breathing helps to facilitate that, that quiet and that calm. And through that quietness, you can really attune yourself to what it is that you're feeling. If at any point you ever want to take a break, feel free to drop your knees. And just know that child's pose is always here for you if you want. So breathe in deep. Let's go ahead and start to build the energy by coming up to all fours, tabletop position, stacking those shoulders right above the wrist. And then on the inhale, drop the belly, extend your heart forward. And then on the exhale, slowly round the back as you curl the chest and chin in. A few more together, inhale, cow, belly drops, collarbone spread. And then exhale, round in, chest, chin, and head. Good, inhale, sinking up, the breath, the body, the mind. And exhale, round as we loosen up that spine. One more time, inhale, forward. And then exhale, round and in. Good, from here, come back to a neutral spine, so neutral tabletop. Step back to plank, upper push-up position. Take a couple breaths there as you firm the thighs, engage the core, and energetically hug your forearms in towards the middle of the mat. Shift forward onto the tips of the toes, take an inhale there, and then exhale lower slowly all the way down, down, down onto your belly, onto the ground. Release the tops of the feet, extend back through the toes, and then lift your chest and your legs off the ground. So it's like a hybrid pose, a little bit of a cobra, and a little bit of shalabhasana locus. Take your inner elbows and draw those in towards your ribs. Take your heart, extend that forward through the shoulders. Take another inhale, lift everything up a tad higher. And then exhale, set it all down onto the mat. And we'll repeat that. Rise up, chest and legs as you inhale. Lower down, easily exhale. Good, inhale, rise up, breath leading the way. And exhale, down slow. Two more times, inhale, waking up that back, preparing it for deeper things to come. And exhale, lower down. One more time, inhale, rise up. When you get to the top, hold there, keep breathing, and then levitate your hands off the ground. So the hands lift up, and then keep those inner elbows drawing into the ribs. Good, now take the arms straight behind you. Shalabhasana. Toes and fingertips drawing back, chest still reaching forward, 
chin slightly tucking down and in neck is long one last inhale lift up find the edge and enhance the cobra position release everything down onto the mat cobra on the inhale chest up shoulders back collarbones broaden and then down dog exhale tuck the toes lift the hips drop the head Come back to that wave of breath, just streamlining in and out through the nose. First down dog, feel free to walk out your dog, alternating one heel down towards the ground, especially if you're practicing first thing in the morning. Just be impatient that you have tension to work through, you have stiffness to dissolve. And the deeper that we get into this archer flow, the more those tensions will melt away. Spread those fingers wide, press strong through the hands, draw up high through those hips, and sweetly press those heels down. Take an inhale, press back through the hips, and then exhale, walk the feet forward all the way to the top of your yoga mat. Spread the feet out about the width of the hips, slide the hands up to the shins, Come into a flat back inhale, draw your heart forward and out. And then forward fold, exhale, let it all go. Put a little bend into the knees, bring the hands all the way up to the waist. Press down to the feet and then leading through your heart. On an inhale, rise and fly. Both arms all the way up to the sky. And then both hands to prayer, right in front of your heart. Take a moment here, close the eyes, just bringing that awareness back inward inside as that breath continues to glide rhythmically in and out through your nose. Good, blink the eyes open, circle the arms up to the sky, on the inhale, reach up, and then forward fold, exhale, let it go. Flat back inhale, spine reaches out. Step back to plank, upper push up, lower down, same exhale, breathing out. Cobra on the inhale, arching your back. Down dog exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips, drop the head. Take a couple breaths there. And as that breath flows in, and as that breath flows out, just allowing it to move across the back of the throat. So you get that ujjayi breath sound. Inner hands strong, undersides of the knuckles glued into the mat. Take an inhale, stretch back to the hips, and then exhale, walk or jump, both feet top of the mat. Fly back, inhale, spine out. Forward fold, exhale, let it go. Arms up to the sky, inhale. Both hands to prayer, exhale, bring it in. Circle those arms up, inhale, reach. Forward fold, exhale, chest on knees. Flat back, inhale, lengthen out. Step or jump back, lower down strong and steady. Cobra on the inhale, nice and gently. And then down dog, exhale. Tuck the toes, lift the hips. And let's keep it moving. Inhale, press back. Exhale, walk or jump, top of your mat. Flat back, inhale, lengthen out. Forward fold, exhale. Arms to the sky, inhale, root to rise. Hands to prayer, bringing it down the center line. Nice, you guys. Arms up, inhale, reach, feel the feet drive down. Forward fold, exhale, like a moving prayer. Flat back, fill the lungs up with air. Step or jump back. Lower down, elbows in, core strong. Cobra on the inhale till it feels spot on. And then down dog, exhale. Take an inhale, press back to the hips. Exhale, walk or spring top of the mat. Flat back, inhale, heart reaches out. Forward fold, exhale, let it go. Circle those arms up, inhale, rise with precision. And then hands to prayer, bringing it home. 
Arms up, inhale, reach with soul. Forward fold, exhale, soul in motion. Flat back, inhale, oxygen deep and low. Step or jump back, lower down with pure muscle. Cobra on the inhale, collarbone spread wide apart. And then down dog, exhale, hips back. Hold there. Come back to that breath, a little bit more warmth, a little bit more stimulation. Let's keep chugging along, let's keep stoking the fire. From down dog, inhale forward to plank, upper push up. Chaturanga, exhale, lower down, maybe you hover. Upward dog, inhale, scoop up through the chest, modify if you like. And then down dog, exhale, press back through the thighs. Two more like that. Inhale, forward plank, chaturanga down. Upward dog, inhale, and then down dog, exhale. One more time. Inhale, forward plank, chaturanga, core strong. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Hold there, take a big inhale through the nose, and then sigh out the mouth, let it go. All right, you guys, it's happening. We're getting into that archer flow. Take an inhale, press back to the hips, and then exhale, walk or spring top of the mat. Flat back inhale, heart draws out. Forward fold, exhale, feet together, bend the knees, squat back. And then chair pose, take both arms and reach those all the way up to the sky as you sit back into the, the hips. And you feel your legs waking up, becoming more energetic, more active, more infused with that vitality. Good, let's pop up onto the toes. So lift the heels up, challenge your balance. And challenging that balance is always an opportunity to challenge your focus, to challenge your concentration. Good, heels back onto the ground. Sit back a little deeper. Take one last inhale, lift up a little more. And then forward fold, exhale, let it go. Flat back inhale, spine reaches out. Step or jump back, lower down, vinyasa. Cobra or up dog, inhale, you choose. And then down dog, exhale. Now right leg lifts up, inhale. Top of the mat, exhale. Spin the back foot flat, and then warrior one. Both arms all the way up to the sky. As you slide your front right foot a little bit over to the right, so that you're wider than heel to heel. And then you can take that outer left hip, and you can turn it forward so both hips click into that neutral rotation. Beautiful, straighten that right knee, right leg. Take an inhale, reach up, lean back, and then fold down on top of that right leg, setting the hands either onto the floor to frame the right foot. You could use two blocks, or you could place the hands on top of your right foot, your right shin. So the beauty of the practice of yoga is that you adapt and you tailor each and every position to what feels right for the wisdom of what it is that your body needs. Now from here, driving down through your feet, on the inhale, bring both arms all the way up to the sky. So reverse what you did. And then on the exhale, bend the right knee, spread the arms out wide coming into warrior one, prana mudra. So right knee bending right above the right heel, the right thigh descends down. The chest lifts up to the sky. The shoulder blades contract, and it's as if your collarbones are smiling wide apart, just like Rachel here. She's smiling in her heart. She's smiling in the face, too. Look at that. Good. Now both arms up. Inhale, reach. Warrior one. And then vinyasa, lower all the way down steadily. Cobra up dog, inhale, can we get a smile from Scott? Downward facing dog, exhale. Good, left leg up, inhale, we flow. Top of the mat, exhale, back foot flat. At your leisure, rise up, warrior one. This time, front left foot, 
slides a little bit over to the left outer right hip wrapping forward inner right thigh spiraling back outer blade of that right foot strong into the mat and then left knee straightens big inhale reach up lean back till it feels right and then cascade right on top of your front left foot left leg and notice at the same time you're building strength you're also creating muscular length. You're getting strong, you're getting long, but you're doing it with the mind present and calm. Now from here, inhale, rise up, both arms to the sky, root to rise, and then simultaneously bend the front thigh, spread those arms out wide as you open up to the power of your practice. Every day you get onto your yoga mat, it's going to be a good one. Both arms to the sky, inhale, reach. And then vinyasa all the way down with upper body strength. Cobra, up dog, inhale. And then down dog, exhale. All right, you guys, now let's take what you just did and let's turn that to a flow. We're going to pick up the pace. We're going to lift this class to a whole other level. So here we go. Big inhale, stretch back. Exhale, walk or jump, top of that mat. Flat back, inhale, spine out. Forward fold, exhale, squat back. Chair pose, inhale, lift and reach. Forward fold, exhale, dive and release. Flat back, inhale, spine out. Step or jump back, lower down, vinyasa. Cobra, up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. In that flow, right leg up, inhale. Top of the mat, back foot flat, exhale. Warrior one, inhale, rise up. Straighten the right knee, exhale. Come back, inhale. Fold on top of that right leg, exhale. Come back up, inhale, arms to the sky. Now bend the thigh, spread those arms out wide. Arms up, inhale, warrior one. Vinyasa lower down as we have some fun. Cobra, inhale, the yoga way. Exhale, downward dog. Left leg up, inhale. Flow it deep, exhale. Rise up, warrior one, inhale. Straighten the front leg, exhale. Come back, inhale. Fold on top of left leg, exhale. Back up, inhale, arms to the sky. Spread out wide, bend that front thigh. Warrior one, inhale, reach. And then vinyasa all the way down with upper body strength. Cobra up dog, inhale, you arch. And then down dog, exhale. Keeping it moving, inhale, press back. Exhale, walk or jump, top of your mat. Flat back, inhale, spine out. Forward fold, exhale, squat back. Chair pose, inhale, arms up, fingers spread. Forward fold, drop your head. Flat back, inhale, long as can be. Step or jump back, lower down, fluid lean. Cobra, inhale, sensuous lean. Down dog, exhale, right leg up, inhale. Flow deep, exhale. Warrior one, inhale, rise with grace. Straighten the right leg. Come back, inhale. Fold down to a perfect degree. Back up, inhale, rise and lift. Now exhale, spread for width. Arms up, inhale, Vera one. Exhale, lower down, Chaturanga. Huge inhale, breathe deep, pull low. Down dog, exhale, last side, left leg up, inhale. Flow deep, exhale. Good, inhale, rise up. Straighten the front leg, come back, inhale. Fold down, hit that perfect pitch. Come back, inhale, rise and lift. Now spread and open out. Back to the sky, inhale, reach up. And then vinyasa, elbows hug the ribs. Cobra, up dog, inhale. 
And then down dog, exhale, take a big inhale through the nose, out the mouth, let it go. Good job, you guys. Walk your hands to the back of your mat, all the way back by the feet. Let's take a little break. First two fingers, gonna hook the big toes, and then flat back inhale, stretch the heart up and out, and then fold on the exhale as you bend the elbows and pull gently top of the head to the floor. Curl the chin in towards the top of the chest. Let the head go. And just come back to how you began the practice. Quieting the mind down, allowing everything outside of your breath to fade away. Go ahead and release the big toes. Bring the hands behind the low back. Interlace your fingers. And then draw the arms towards straight, allowing the tension out of the upper back to spill down towards your yoga mat. Just letting it go. One last inhale, deepen in. And then exhale both hands back down to the ground. Go ahead and walk your hands forward and out, all the way out to your downward face and dog. Take a moment, get set. Good, now from down dog, shift forward to plank pose, upper push up. Bring the feet together side by side and then spin onto the outer blade of your right foot. Stack your left foot on top, lean into your right hand Take your left arm, reach it to the sky, and know at any point you can always modify by dropping the right knee on the ground. If you want more, you could lift your left leg up a couple of feet, and if you still want more, you could bend your left knee, reach back, and grab your left foot so your left knee shoots towards the back of the space. So you pick your path, you pick the degree of intensity that feels right for you. Take one last inhale wherever you're at, and then exhale left hand down to the ground, back to plank. Take one inhale there, drop the right knee down, lift the left leg up. Extend the right arm forward, and press down actively to your left hand so you stimulate your left deltoid and your left tricep. Now bend your back left foot in, reach back with your right hand, and grab that left foot as we come into half bow pose. So imagine you're an archer and you're cocking your bow and your arrow back. See if you can peel open through the chest and see if you can caress your spine. Take one last inhale, half bow, and then left leg back, right arm forward. Big inhale, pull out, lift up and then set it down, tabletop pose. Good, step back to plank, upper push-up, as we now set up for five yogi-style push-ups. Good, try and contain your excitement for these, you guys. Here we go, inhale down, chaturanga. Push-up, exhale, plank. Four more, inhale, come down. Exhale, rise up. You can drop your knees if you want. Inhale down, round three. Exhale up, two more of these. Good, drop a little low, inhale, press up, exhale. Now one more time, inhale down, exhale, rise up. Now hold there, take an inhale plank, lower down slow all the way onto your belly. Pause when you touch the ground. How you doing there, Fatimata? Doing all right? Good, from here, bend the left heel in, reach back, grab the outer left foot with your left hand. Extend your right arm forward, straight out in front, and then start to lift your right leg, lift your left eye, lift your chest, lift your right arm, as you come into another variation of an archer pose. This time, same hand grab, same foot, but same dynamics. You cock your bow and your arrow back. Take one last inhale, lift it up. Set it down, exhale. Second side, right foot bends in. Right hand reaches back, catch the outside of the right foot, and then pull your left arm straight out in front. 
Go ahead, lift your chest, lift your left leg, lift your right thigh, and then use the power of tension, which is symbolic of challenge, struggle, adversity. Use tension in a way where you spin it to your advantage. So right now, you get deep into your back, and you spread wide through your chest. One last inhale, goodbye. Set it down, exhale, hands to cobra position, right next to those ribs. Now, cobra on the inhale, chest up, shoulders back, and then down dog, exhale. Tuck the toes, lift the hips. Woo, take a big inhale, press it back. Exhale, walk or jump, top of your mat. Now, flat back inhale, spine out. And then forward fold on the exhale. Those of you at home that have a block, take your block and set it about a foot or so in front of your right foot, a little bit over to the right, just because of uh, something that's coming down the road. Good. Now, flat back inhale, spine reaches out. And then forward fold, exhale, let it go. Good. On the inhale, root to rise, both arms all the way up to the sky. And then exhale, both hands to prayer, right in front of the heart. Come here, lean into your right foot, and then bend your left heel in towards your left sit bone. You're going to take your left hand, reach it back, and you're going to grab the outside of your left foot. Usually we would grab the inside traditionally, but again, because of where we're going to next, make sure you get the outside of the foot. Now hug the inner thighs in towards each other. Extend your right arm up to the sky. Wrap the outer right shoulder forward. Spiral the inner right bicep back. Now this should feel familiar. You just did this on your belly. Now, same dynamics, but a different context. Start to lean forward. Begin to reach out through that right arm. And at the same time, draw back through your left shin. Cocking that bow and that arrow back. This class is about aiming true. I get clear as to what my goals are. And then I fire the arrow of intention. And I hit the bull's eye of the target. And it's my practice that allows me to get consistent with hitting the target. Now from here, here's where it gets to be a little interesting. See if you can lower your right hand down, down, down onto that block that you set in front of your right foot. And then because you still have your left foot, see if you can roll your left hip open and maneuver your way into chapasana. So you spread open through the left hip and you pull the heart forward and you roll the left chest open and you might fall, but who cares? Nelson Mandela said, don't judge me by my successes. Judge me by how many times I fell and then I got back up. So it's not the fall that defines you, it's how you deal with the fall. Now from here, half moon, left leg to the back, left arm to the sky. Imagine that you're leaning up against the wall on your right side. And then flex the left foot, press out through that left heel, stack those hips, and most importantly, breathe a lot. Good, now put a little baby bend into that right knee and then float step all the way back. Warrior two, boom. Woo, find your bearings and find your footing because it's time, you guys, for a little bit of yoga archery. Okay, you're gonna take your right thumb, flip it to the sky, bring your left hand behind your head and your neck like your. Uh, You're one of those elves in War of the Rings. Take your first arrow out, set it onto that imaginary string, and then pull that bow and arrow back. Set your target, and then let the arrow fly. Left arm comes down, reverse back, grab arrow number two. Place it onto that string, and then cock back as you aim true. Let it fly, left arm down, reverse back, One more time, grab your third arrow, set it, and then pull back. Feel the power of that good positive tension. That's where we get strength. And then let it fly, left arm down. 
Come back to reverse warrior. Big inhale, reach back. And then vinyasa, cartwheel those arms. Take it all the way down with control. Huge inhale, chest high, shoulders low. Down dog, exhale, breathe. Oh my goodness, so little time, so much ground to cover. Let's go ahead and keep moving along from down dog. Slide forward to plank pose, upper push up. This class is 45 minutes action packed. From here, feet together, pivot onto the outer blade of the left foot. Stack the right foot on top and then lean into that left hand. Good, reach the right arm up and if you want less, you drop your left knee down. And if you want more, you lift your right leg up. And if you still want more, maybe you bend your right knee and grab your back right foot with your right hand. And if that's still not enough for you, you could take your bottom left arm and you could reach that up and out. But that's very advanced. I don't know if it's a good idea. Take one last inhale there. Set the right hand down onto the ground, back to plank. Good, take one inhale there. Drop the left knee down. Lift the right leg up. Extend that left arm straight out in front of you. Sunbird in a moment to plug down into the right hand. Good, you guys got this. Now bend your back foot in. Grab it with that left hand. And notice that when you come into the pose, you don't have to go to the zenith of the pose right out of the gates. So trust the process. Surrender your agenda and your ego and allow your yoga to do you instead of you doing it. Like you're an instrument and you're just letting that instrument be beautifully played. One last inhale, half bow. Right leg back, left arm forward. Huge inhale, pull out, lift up. Set it down, tabletop. Step back to plank, upper push up. Five more yogi style push ups. Here we go, inhale down, chaturanga, push up, exhale, one. Four more, inhale, drop, exhale, press. Three more, inhale, strong, exhale, calm. Two more, inhale, light, exhale, joyful. One more time, inhale if you have to fake it, exhale, <laughs> rise up. Now hold there, take an inhale, plank. Lower all the way down onto your belly. Bend your heels in, reach back, and grab the outsides of your feet with both hands because you did half bow. Now, let's do the full bow. Flex the feet and then draw your shins towards the back. Try to resist those knees flaring out. So hug the inner thighs in towards the midline and then gently Press the shoulder blades into the back of the heart. Allow that chest to spread wide apart. Still working with good tension to create a beautiful heart opening. One last inhale. Shalabhasana, legs back, arms back. Still lifted above the ground, breathing. Now both arms straight out in front of you. Superhero pose for five. Extend out four. Stay steady for three. Good, breathe a lot for two. Take one last inhale, lift it up. Hands to cobra position, release down onto the mat. Good, now cobra on the inhale. Chest up, tops of the feet glued into the mat. And then down dog, exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips. Woo, inhale, press back, stretch a little. Exhale, walk, jump, or take an uber to the top of the mat. Flat back, inhale, heart out. Forward fold, exhale, take your block. Set it about a foot or so in front of your left foot a little to the left. And those of you that are practicing at home, if you don't have a block, sorry about that, you gotta get one. From here, upward salute, inhale, rise, both arms to the sky. And then hands to prayer, bring it down the center line. Oh, good, lean into the left foot. And then bend your right heel in towards your right sit bone. Grab the outside of your right foot with your right hand. 
Extend the left arm up. Just taking it step by step. There's no rush. When you're ready, start to lean forward and start to extend out through that left arm. And then try not to let your right hip externally roll open. So keep both hips in that neutral rotation. Outer right hip turning down. Inner right thigh spiraling up. And your bottom left leg like the fulcrum as you find your balance. Good, as you're ready, start to lower the left hand down. Down, down, down. Onto your block or maybe you do come down onto the ground. Maybe you got a really long left arm and a really short left leg. So it's easy for you to actually do it without a block. Take the right hip and start to roll that open. Chapasana. And then you breathe into that right hip. You breathe into where you feel the sensation taking place. Good, half moon. Right leg to the back. Right arm to the sky. Take every extended limb that you got and pull it out in every direction possible as you create space and freedom in the body. That's it, you guys. Little bend in that left knee and then float step back. Warrior two. Boom, you came all the way off the mat, Susie. That's okay. Take your left arm, flip it to the sky as we prepare yoga archery on the other side. Take your right hand behind your head and neck, grab the arrow, set the arrow on the string as we fire the arrow of compassion. Pull back, see your target, let it fly. Right arm down, reverse circle back, second arrow, place it on the string as we now fire the arrow of strength. Pull back, good tension, let it fly. Right arm down, reverse circle back, grab that last third arrow, place it, pull back, aim true as we fire the final arrow of generosity. Let it fly. Right arm down, reverse circle all the way back, revolve warrior, inhale, and then vinyasa. Chaturanga Dandasana. Huge inhale, Bhujang Asana. Exhale, you made it. No more Asana. <laughs> Ooh. Last down dog. Take an inhale, press back. Relax the knees down onto the mat. Stand up on top of your knees. And then bring your hands all the way up to your hips, to your waist. And then from here, extend your right leg straight out in front of you. Tuck the left toes underneath your left heel. This takes a little bit of a balance, so just feel the ground below you. On the inhale, you're going to reach both arms up to the sky. And then you're going to twist to the left. So left arm to the back, right arm forward. Take your left hand, set it on top of your left heel. Take your right arm, reach out all the way up and back. Find your balance. And then rotate your chest to face up towards the ceiling. Press down through your right big toe. Pull back far through that right arm. And just another beautiful backward bend for a flexible spine which equals a flexible mind. One last inhale there. Come all the way up on the exhale. Hands to the hips, and then slide your right knee back in. As you're ready, extend your left leg out in front. Tuck the right toes underneath. Both arms up to the sky, inhale. Twist to the right. When you're ready, take your right hand Set it on top of your right heel. Take your left arm. Reach it all the way up and back. And then take your chest and start to rotate it from less of a side bend into more of a backward bend. Chest facing straight up, anchored down. 
into your left big toe. One last inhale, goodbye. And then exhale, ease your way all the way up. Hands grab the waist, slide the left knee in. You guys like that pose? I just made it up. Good, from here, tabletop, all fours. Go ahead and crawl your knees all the way to the top of the mat. Cross the feet behind you. Release down onto your sit bones. And then come all the way down onto your back. Oh. As you get down onto the back, grab your shins. Hug and squeeze your knees, your thighs into your belly. Slide the hands down the legs. And grab onto the outer edges of your feet. First two fingers on your left hand are going to hook your left big toe. First two fingers right hand will hook the right big toe. Bring your left leg into happy baby. So sole of the left foot lifted up. And then take your right leg out to the right. And like the reclining archer, use your left arm to pull that left eye down. But at the same time, press out through that right leg and that right heel. So you're pulling through the left leg, and then you're pressing through the right leg. Good. As you're ready, other side. Bend your right knee, so right leg like a, a happy baby. And that left leg. Extending out. Now pull through the right arm. Press through the left leg. Nice, you guys. Come back to happy baby. Bring the inner knees together. Draw those thighs into your belly. Keep your right knee in. Extend your left leg straight out in front of you. Reach the right arm out to the right. Take the right knee all the way over to the left into a bent knee, reclining spinal twist. Just making a nice, easy descent. Build the energy up, and then we drive it through the, the strong, active, challenging parts of the practice, and then we bring it back down, so we allow the challenges to have an opportunity to assimilate, to synthesize into the body. Go ahead and bring the right knee back up to middle. Pull both knees back into the belly, and then switch sides, right leg out, left arm spreads, and left knee drapes all the way over to the right, into a last final spinal twist. and bring that left knee back up to middle. Pull both knees in. And then finally, take one last inhale, curl your forehead up to your knees. Give everything one last big squeeze. And then exhale, Shavasana. Release and relax down onto the back. Take a last, last minute or two. Let the breath soften. Sink into stillness. Shavasana.
everybody from here nice and easily. Allow your awareness to come back into the body. And as you do, just bring in with you whatever it is that you dropped into. Reach the arms up over your head, interlace the fingers, turn the palms inside out, stretch the feet and the toes forward for a, a nice full body stretch. Reach the hands forward, grab the shins, pull your knees into the belly. Go ahead and gently rock and roll your way all the way up to the last final cross-legged seated position. Both hands to prayer in front of your heart, sitting up tall and dignified, slightly bowing the forehead down. It's feeling the power of this archer practice for inspiring you to aim true in all that you think, all that you say, and all that you do. One last final ohm. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Namaste.